Hello everyone, my name is Suboptimal and I make videos about web development and productivity. In this video, I'll go over how to set up Vue.js with Tailwind CSS. And before we jump in, I'm going to ask for one small favor from you guys and that is to leave a like for the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing for more content just like this. So when I first started out, I wasn't really sure how to install Tailwind CSS and the docs on the Tailwind website weren't really too helpful. There was a ton of errors that, ke that I kept running into and it required a lot of setup. And after doing a little bit of digging around, I realized that it's actually really simple to get started with Tailwind CSS and Vue.js. The first thing you want to do is go to a project directory and hopefully you already have the Vue CLI installed so you can just do something like Vue create app and let's create an app called Vue Tailwind. So when we're creating this app, there's a few options that we can take and I'm just going to select manually select features just because it's something that I've always done. And I'm going to pick Vue 3 with the Airbnb ESLint config and just go through the normal steps as always. And once you do that, you're going to get a Vue project. So once you set up your project, you can just CD into the directory and run npm run serve. This will ensure that you just set up Vue.js properly with the Vue CLI. If everything is working properly, you can just click this link and it should open up the Vue project. So previously what I used to do was npm install Tailwind CSS and do a ton of configuration like this. But recently the Vue CLI team added this feature where you can just run Vue add Tailwind. Not only does it install Tailwind, but it also sets up all of the configurations for us. It, it asks us to fill out some specific options. So for example, you can uh, see here that it's saying generate a Tailwind config.js. I'm just gonna do minimal because that is how it normally is. Now Tailwind is gonna work in your project and there's only a few final things that you're gonna need to do to set up Tailwind the proper way. So now that Tailwind has been installed, we're gonna to have to import it into our app.vue file. Pretty straightforward to do that. We just have to do import and find the Tailwind file. So it's located under assets tailwind.css. So we're just gonna do dot slash assets and Tailwind CSS. So now we've imported Tailwind and we can just start using the Tailwind classes. So here's a quick example. Let's create a div. And inside of this div, let's just use some Tailwind classes. Let's say that the background color is red and let's call it red 500. So it's a little bit red and let's just put high here. And I'm just gonna move this below the hello world tag so that it's easier to see. So if I save this app and do an NPM run serve, as you can see, we finally have Tailwind configured with our app and the red background color of that div is displayed inside of our app. So now we have Tailwind working, everything is set up properly and you can use Tailwind inside of your classes and I believe you can also use it inside of your subclasses, you don't have to import it every single time. Let's just confirm that real quick. I'll go to hello world and inside of this message I'm going to change this to class and we're going to give this a background color of green 500. So if I save this, yep, the first line inside of our app is green. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this simple tutorial to help you get started with the Vue CLI, Vue.js, and Tailwind CSS. As always, be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this type of content. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.